All right. Uh, so, um, I'm Carl Cottingham. I'm the website manager for the NYU Motion Picture Club, and you are... Stefan Kapisic, or Kapicic, <laughs> and I'm an actor playing Colossus in a new movie, Deadpool. And, so. and um, I did a little research on you before I come here. I, this is actually my very first interview with mm -hmm. such a big actor. And um, you were born in Cologne in Germany in mm -hmm. 1978. Yes. And you studied at the Faculty of Acting in, of Dramatic Acting in... Belgrade. In Belgrade. Yeah. Uh, what was that like, Could you, if you can recall? Well, yeah, I have to say, you know, my mother was an actress. Yes. So she finished the same school that I did. And the Faculty of Dramatic Arts in Belgrade was one, and it, it still is, one of the best schools of acting in Eastern Europe. And they had, like, so many great teachers and great schools, especially the theater. Because, you know, that's like, you know, the, the, the real theater acting, you know, like stage acting. And it's prestigious school. So, you know, every each year you have, like, 5,000 people trying to get into that school. And, you know, they just pick, like, 8 to 10. So the thing is, I was, you know, I got into that, so I finished it. And right after that, I, I started playing in National Theater of Serbia, and then, mm -hmm. you know, my theater career went really, really good. Excellent. Um, were you... And the thing, I was born in Germany because my father was, he was a world champion in basketball. Yes, I was, I was actually about to ask, uh -huh. were you ever interested in sports when you were a teenager or when yeah. you were a young man? Yep, I was playing basketball for nine years, and... My father was a basketball player, my mother was an actress, so I was always in between, you know, trying to find myself which way should I go, because I love basketball and I love uh, acting, and in the end, you know, because my mom stopped acting because when I, when I was born, mm -hmm. and she was thinking, you know, she had to decide between, you know, her career or her family, so she decided to, uh, you know, she chose family, thank God for that. So, on the other side, I, I continued her path, which she loves and she's so happy and she sees, you know, uh, she's happy that I continued, you know, the, the thing that she stopped and I'm successful in it. Excellent. Um, you're very well known on Croatian television, uh, from what I understand, and in America, you, you're still little known in America, yeah. but... That is about to change right now, so... Thank God for that. Yes. Um, w I understood that you did not know you were going to play Colossus when you auditioned. No, and no, it was like a top secret project, you know, I got the size for the audition, but, you know, the names were changed, everything was different because, you know, they couldn't tell me what's going on, so uh, there were some, like, really strange names, and I was, like, thinking, okay, I'm filming for who knows what. I'm going to sell tape myself. I didn't know. But then, you know, when I passed the first uh, the first round, then they called me and they gave me, like, you know, some details. Mm -hmm. They changed some names. So when I saw, like, wait, <laughs> me as a comic book fan, you know, I was, like, thinking, oh, my God, is this, like, Wade Wilson? Is <laughs> it possible that, I, you know, I'm going for you know, one of the characters in the Deadpool movie? But I didn't know, but, you know, they said, try to do it with some, like, your native accent, and I'm, like, Slavic. Uh, my, my native accent is similar to Russian. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, okay, let me see who can it be. And, yeah, that was supposed to be Colossus, Piotr Nikolaevich Rasputin. Yes. So, you know, that helped me a lot because I'm a comic book geek and, you know, I'm a big fan of X-Men. So it helped me a lot, you know, to try to figure out what should I do for that role, you know? How, Be yeah. Yes, because in pri previous X-Men movies, Colossus has never really had a big presence. Not at all, which is a shame, you know, because Daniel Cudmore is really a good actor. But I didn't, like, I, I, it's okay, you know, that's one version of Colossus. But I think that we, Tim Miller made Colossus like every fan imagines him, you know. That, that's the real Colossus, the, the Colossus that we did in, in Deadpool. Yeah, 
I admit, and the I, Colossus needs to speak with a Russian accent. You know? That is also true. And, yeah. Um, I will admit, reading the X-Men when I was growing up, um, I didn't really know Colossus too much. Um, also, prior exposure to the movies really didn't help. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think is going to make Colossus this time around uh, stand out? Uh, you, you mean in this movie? or Yes. Well, Tim Miller showed him perfectly, you know. He gave him the chance that Colossus needed, you know. He is like, you know, old school superhero. He's yes. some sort of like a Marvel Superman. Right. Yeah, because he's like fighting for justice. He is an idealist. He, you know, uh, he's a gentleman. He is like an old Russian soul, like artistic like a guy, like a, like a hero from the Dostoevsky's novel, mm-hmm. you know, something totally pure. And I think that Marvel needs that kind of character more, more. In, you know, he need uh, Marvel needs those characters more. Yes, I agree. So, because uh, we have like uh, Colossus. Colossus is one of the strongest characters in in the Marvel universe. You know, him, Hulk, and Thor. You know, those are like characters that are really you know the strongest characters. And plus, we have like two sides of him, you know, because we have we haven't seen him in Deadpool, and I hope and I pray to God, you know, that we're gonna see uh, a human form of of. of and Colossus. I also, on a personal note, he does have a sister in the comics. Yes, Ileana, Magic, Ileana, Magic, 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 yeah. And for me, it would be really cool to see those two. Oh yeah. Interact right. on screen, and hopefully, it'll be you. Well, I'm. I pray that I can be that. You know, because that that's perfect. You said it perfectly. You know, Magic would be like amazing character, especially if you have Colossus and her brother and sister. You know, that that's something that you know can be worked on, and especially in case you have you know the X Force now, and who knows what can happen because Deadpool is opening so many doors right now for for specific new uh, comic book game changers. You know, because people are a li- little bit tired. We are a little bit tired of Dower or even cla- the cl- uh, origin stories in the classic sense. Mm-hmm. It needs a kick in the pants. <laughs> Absolutely, I agree on that. And I think Deadpool is something that is going to make it, you know. Because, uh, have you seen Deadpool? I have not. Yeah. I was about to go to an earlier screening, but sadly I was tied up with an earlier event. Uh-huh. But I've heard nothing but good things from all my friends. So. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's it's it's. I well, I'm a big fan of every comic book movie. I love to see it, even like the, the bad comic book movies. You know, I still love them in some like childish way. You know. But I even have a soft spot for Fantastic Four, the uh, Tim Story ones. Um, not the more recent one, the Tim Story ones. Yeah. That with I know. Captain America as the Human Torch, which is yeah, I, blown. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that one. But I love all those. Yeah, well, right. I even love that. Like, I don't want to like get into you know right now in the other universes. But yes, yeah, I'm so. a big fan of comic books, in general. But but the thing is, uh, Deadpool is bringing so many new things to this world, you know, and that's why people are so crazy about it, because uh, this is a story about a character, you know, we have like a little bit of an origin story, we need to have it, you know, right. just like to, to, you know, to introduce it to the people that are not in the comic book, comic books, mm-hmm. but the way Tim Miller gave us this movie, and I like really praise, you know, the attention to Fox, to, you know, because they decided to give a chance to this kind of movie that they made, that made an amazing move. You know, especially with the internet grabbing hold of that early visual effects mm-hmm. clip, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that was said to be the start of the production, basically. Yes, they kickstarted. The that demand. was that was a green light, yeah, for that. And they made a great move with this because you know, like yesterday when I, when we were on on the screening, the reaction, the fan reactions are unbelievable. I you seen, p- I saw the pictures. I saw just. Amazing amounts of fans dedicated to this wacky, zany character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and you know when when you're watching the movie, it's it it, it goes so fast. So you know, I I, I, I talked with so many people that are like saying to me, we we have to see it like three, four, five more times because it's it's really fast. It's so funny. It, there's so many amazing action, you know, action scenes. Every single actor is brilliant. 
Ed's Green, Ryan, it's amazing. Uh, Brianna, Leslie Agam, Steve J. Miller, everyone, Gina Carano, everybody is, has, the, their roles are amazing. So I'm, I'm really honored and I'm so proud, you know, that I can be a part of not only Marvel Universe, mm -hmm. uh, well, to be the part of, you know, this project with all those guys around me, you know. And yesterday when we were like standing, you know, side by side, all of us, I felt so, I felt, and I, I love to say that because this is fulfillment of my childhood dream, you know. So for little Steph, little Stefan, the, the little one that, that's reading, you know, his first Marvel comic, his first Wolverine and X-Men, for him this is equal as I won the Academy Award Very in, my, in my world. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, you know, and I would like to thank everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I, are we good on time? Yeah, yeah one last question. Yeah. Oh, um, um, you have been a very lifelong comic book fan. Your grandfather introduced you to the mm -hmm. comics. Like, can you recall what that comic was? Or That was, I think, still I have it. In my, uh, that, was, that was Wolverine Special Edition. Well, was that number 50 or not? It was yellow front page with his claws. His claws went through. It had like a, how do you say that? A scar on the, a scratch, a scratch. scratch on, the, on the front page with his claws. That was the first one that I got. And that pr no doubt made quite an impression on you. Oh yeah, well, uh, it just sucked me in, you know. I, I just well before that I was reading a lot of like European comic books and right. lots of stuff that were like selling in in, in, in Serbia and ex Yugoslavia. But my first contact with Marvel comics, the first love, was was with X Men and Wolverine. So this I, is the fulfillment of the childhood dream. Absolutely, absolutely. This is this is something unexplainable, you know. Because when when they called me and they said you got this role, I was. I was the happiest man in the world, and I still am, you know, because what's going on with this movie and everything that's going on right now is something that I, I was dreaming my whole life, and oh. thank God for that. All right, that's excellent. Um, this was an interview with, um, this was an interview for Deadpool with Stephen Kapuscik? Kap, Kap, Kapuscik. 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 Yeah. I apologize. Yep. Uh, a.k.a. Colossus for Deadpool. Uh, stay tuned for more. All right.